Hello all, TechGeek311 here. Gonna give you another iPhone 101. This time we're gonna cover iCloud. All right, today on iPhone 101, we're gonna cover iCloud. Now let me first explain what iCloud is because there's a lot of cloud services out there iCloud is basically Apple's backup system for all the data you have within your iDevices. That includes your iPhones, your iPod Touches, your iPads, uh, even your Mac and your iTunes. Now what iCloud is not, is not exactly a sharing cloud service like you would have with Dropbox or Box or Amazon or any one of the other cloud services. It is primarily your backup system. So iCloud member is linked to your account. If I show you on my iCloud, you're going to see my account email up there. Okay, that's my Yahoo email in case you guys want to email me there, but I prefer my Gmail one. Uh, just look under my channel and you'll, you'll be able to contact me. But as an example, the iCloud account, that is your ID from Apple, which is mostly everyone's email address. You cannot share this with anyone else within your family. This is a separate uh, account that is designed for you. So just to get clarify that, now when you're on iCloud you can share stuff and that's what I'm going to show you here on the bottom. Here on the bottom you're going to see your mail. Now mail and notes, uh, they used to require a me account this used to be uh, when iCloud wasn't called iCloud, but it was called Me. Now it, everything's designed for iCloud, but those two used to require a separate login. If you notice that it's mostly the stock apps, uh, so Apple makes for sure um, when you're using iCloud that you, all your stuff is backed up. So you can see we have mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, Safari, notes, passbook. Then you notice I have on there photo stream. So if I go to photo stream, you'll see that it's my photo stream, which means all the photos that I've taken in my camera roll. And you notice I have shared photo stream. Now shared photo stream, you can create separate folders. This you can share on another person's device. But just remember, if you delete it on your device, that picture, it will delete it on theirs as well. You have also documents and data. So this is what it'll um, back up from all your applications. You can also use the choice of using Wi-Fi only or using your cellular data. Now you got to remember too, on iCloud, all your apps are automatically backed up, but they do not take any more space. It's only the data within the apps that takes up the space. So we're going to go down here where it says storage and backup. You'll notice I have my total storage up there. It tells you how much of my storage is available. It gives you the option to manage my storage, to change my storage plan, and right underneath it, it says backup. It says iCloud backup. You notice I have it on. That means every time I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, my phone will automatically back up to iCloud, assuming that I have something new on the device. And you can see on the bottom here when my last backup was done. Now if we go in here to change storage plan, this is going to show you the current plan that I'm on and then it's going to give you what's called downgrade options which in other words you've got 10 gigabytes, 15 gigabytes, 25 gigabytes, depends on what you actually need and so that gives you the choice on what you want to do as far as your storage now let's go into manage storage and under manage storage you'll see the name of my phone on top this tells you exactly how many uh, gigabytes that I'm using just data only then here on the bottom we're going to go to show all. These apps right here requested iCloud backup. So they have, an, they have their own separate iCloud backup for the documents and data. Down here near the bottom, you'll notice that my mail is separate. And you'll notice I also get the option again to change my storage plan. Now let's go into my name up here on top. I'm going to show you something here. It tells you your last backup. It tells you how much your backup size is. And down here on the bottom, I'm going to show you all the applications. You notice how they all have an on and off switch. This is data that's in every application that you have, data that you want to keep and data that um, 
let's say camera roll data, financial data, whatever it is, that when you get a new device or something happens to your device and you have to restore it, all the data for those applications will get restored exactly the way they were depending on your last backup. So I'm going to give you an example here. We're going to go down here and we're going to turn one on. Let's say we're going to turn on SpinCam. Okay, now anything that I have in this app will automatically be backed up to iCloud. Let's say I don't want it anymore. I deleted the app. When I turn it off, you're going to get this, this option now. It's going to tell you to turn off and delete. You do that, iCloud will stop backing up data for that application. And eventually, if you delete the app, it will no longer show up in this list. So as we go down, you can see the majority of my applications are turned on. And this is because I have a lot of data within each application. But I'm going to scroll down here a little closer to the bottom. Let's get down here. So I want to show you something. You don't actually have to have every single application into your iCloud. For some people, this will actually take up too much space and they'll have to upgrade their, their data plan on iCloud so they can uh, keep all the information that they want. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit faster here, so sorry for the speed. You can't see anything. But let's get down here to the bottom. Okay, right here. You notice how I have these last ones in the bottom off. If you look underneath the application, it says no data. That means that these applications don't save any data on your device or on your iCloud at all. So there's no point in me having them on. If I ever need to restore these applications on my phone, they're automatically in my iCloud. It can be restored anytime, anywhere, any other iDevice that I have. So basically, all iCloud does, just so everyone can be clarified, is anytime you get a new device, anytime your device gets destroyed and you have to get another one, iCloud backs up all your stuff securely so that when you need to restore it, it's there. That's exactly what iCloud does. It doesn't do anything else as far as the sharing or anything like that. Uh, you cannot join it with other people in your family accounts or nothing of that sort. All right, so that's the iPhone 101 on iCloud today. I wanted to give you guys a short video on that. And so don't forget to like this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys later with a couple more videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you get more. All right, have a good day. Thanks for watching.